Hi, good afternoon. It's Simon at Vans today in Worcester. Uh, I'm going to give you a quick video walk around of this 2018 on a 68 plate uh, Ford Transit Custom. It is the L1 short wheelbase. It is the top of the range limited model. It is a Euro 6 ULEZ and LEZ zone compliant, which also means it will be compliant for your Birmingham, Bristol and Bath congestion zones. Um, overall great condition uh, a few little bits and pieces we'll point them out to you as we go around uh, it is a one keeper from new vehicle done 40,000 warranted miles with a full maintenance print with it um, so obviously as you can see finished in frozen white it looks very well doesn't it uh, having a look up there on the roof that all looks pretty straight and tidy to me coming down onto your windscreen uh, nothing major issues when it comes to stone chips on the windscreen you always get some of your micro chipping but there's no major stuff that's going to cause either of us any grief when it comes to MOT time looking at your bonnet the bonnet again all in good condition um, minor minor chips but nothing major there at all uh, your front grille is all good front of the front bumper etc that is all good passenger headlamp unit is the LED variety lights up pretty cool when the vehicle's running and then passenger front bumper corner, that's all good, no scuffing. As you can see, being limited model, you have your front fog light here, which is in good order, and you do have front and rear parking sensors fitted to it as well. Driver's headlamp unit, again, that's all in good order. And your driver's side front bumper corner, that's in good order. Front fog lights, all in good order, as you can see. Looking down the passenger side, oh sorry, driver side of the vehicle, there's a couple of dent man dings that need looking at on this vehicle, okay? We've got one in the rear quarter and I think we've got a couple of really minor ones on the driver's door. So we'll get our dent man in and get him to uh, work his magic on all of this. Um, on the front here, we have alloy wheels. Alloy wheels could do with a, a secondary clean by the lookers of it, so we'll get those done on it. Uh, no major damage on them. It's just a bit of brake dust that needs sorting out on them. Uh, and then tyre-wise, you have a Nokian, uh, which is a winter or it's an all-season tyre. So uh, that has got your snowflake on there if you decide to take it up the Alps or anything. Uh, tyre tread depth, all pretty good. Driver's side front wings, all good. Your Driver's mirror unit and indicator is all good. The mirrors on those units, again, are all good as well. Your door glass, this side, no scratching or anything like that on it. That's all good. Driver's door itself, again, all pretty good. Looking at your handles, all pretty good. You're locked good. That is just a bit of polish residue on there, if in case you're wondering. Uh, looking down your door edges, they're all in pretty good order as well. Getting down low, we have a look at your seals. Your seals are as they should be. Your white protective color-coded rubbing strip going down the side of the vehicle is all good. Driver side rear quarter. As I say, we have a ding here. Okay, so that's the one we need to get our dent man on. Um, but overall, pretty damn good, isn't it? Uh, alloy wheel this side you've got a continental tire on it the alloy wheel itself again has got a bit of brake dust on it so we need to get those revaluted but the tire itself has loads of tire tread depth on it front and rear mud flaps on these vans you have driver side rear bumper corner all in good order driver side rear light unit again all in good order i'm just giving you another view down the driver's side as I say, a couple of minor dent mandings, but we'll get those sorted out on it for you. And then looking at the working end of the vehicle, as you can see, it is rear barn doors. Uh, no major damage or anything on the back of it. Your upper brake lights are all in good order. Your door handle, a couple of minor scratches on your door handle, okay? I think a bit of a tea cut and polish will improve that immensely. And then bumper. Uh, Clipper's just gone on the bumper here, okay? So it's really common on these transits. Uh, we'll get that done as part of the PDI process, but your rear reflectors in the bumpers are good. Uh, a couple of minor marks on the rear bumper, your protective strip on the top of it, a couple of minor marks on there, but as you can see, nothing major on there. And then opening up your doors. 
So factory bulkhead, as you can see, uh, it's not done too much hard work, has it? You have an opening hatch here, which gives you additional load length through to the front of the vehicle. Ply lined in the back, as you can see, ply lining has done a job, but has plenty of life left on it. Looking at your flooring, you've got the, the, the great Transit Custom black resin flooring, which is uh, really good hard wearing flooring. Inside your rear doors, bit of ply lining. We've got a panel, ply lining panel missing there. Um, but overall, you know, the painted parts in the back and stuff aren't in bad condition to be fair. And then looking down the passenger side of the vehicle, uh, not too much to point out to you really on this side. Um, I can just make out one little dent landing on the passenger door, um, but overall pretty damn good. Um, rear bumper corner here is all good, no scuffing. Rear light unit here is all good, no damage. Your sliding door rail is in good order. I'll all wheel this side, a couple of minor marks as you can see. Uh, but this one is clean. <laughs> then you have a Continental tyre on it. And that tyre has plenty of tyre tread depth. Getting down low, looking at the vehicle. Um, seals, all good. Protective rubbing strip down the side, all good. Sliding door itself, all good. Passenger door, glass, etc. is all good. Let us know if you want your diesel sticker on it. We can take that off, I'm sure. A little bit of contamination on it, I've noticed. A bit of tar and stuff, so I think we'll have to just get that re-cleaned on it as well. But overall, pretty good. Um, Michelin tyre on the front here. This alloy wheel has seen a little bit of action, as you can see. So there's a couple of, well, there's a few marks on it. <coughs> and then that tyre has plenty of tyre tread depth as well. Mirror units this side, all good. And then if we open up the sliding door, the sliding door, as you can see, slides nicely open. Looking at your door shuts inside, they're nice and clean and tidy. Back of the van, clean and tidy, flooring, etc. all good. And then fuel filler this side. All good, there's your Euro 6 fuel filler. That is your diesel fuel cap. I know everybody looks at it and goes, it's missing a cap, but that is, you just push it in through a, a self-sealing flap and fuel it that way. Uh, door card, passenger side, decent condition as you can see, clean and tidy. Lovely bit of piano black trim going on there as well. Entry step this side's all good. Flooring this side, clean and tidy. There's your bonnet release, we'll show you underneath there as well. Dashboard fascias, they're all good. Top of your dash is all good. In here is your glove box with your locking Wilmot key in there as well. Headlining inside, clean and tidy. Seats, again, clean and tidy. You know, how fussy do you get? There's a little mark there and there's a little mark there, but you know, overall, as you can see, it's all pretty good. Pull this bit down here. You've got a couple of cup holders going on in there as well. And then bonnet wise, look at the Ford badge and then just to the, just above it is a little handle, the yellow handle there, lift that up and that opens up your bonnet. Bonnet bolts, etc., are all original condition, shows you that it's not had any body work off it on the front. Your coolant is the right colour for Ford and there's no contamination there. It's nice and clean and tidy. You have your fuse box underneath there. Air box on top of the engine, as you can see. That would be where you would fill your oil. Your dipstick is the yellow bit just down there. You have power steering fluid there. And you have um, brake fluid here. And you, uh, it's windscreen wash is fillable there but it's clean and tidy underneath there you just have to give them a little bit more of a, a drop to close them now driver's side so we have i mean minor minor marks on the driver's side but nothing major 
There's your central locking for the back of the van as well as the front, electric windows and electric folding mirrors. Silly little things, attention to detail that we do on the vans. Look how clean those door shuts are. Your entry steps this side, as you can see, again, clean and tidy. Flooring this side, got a few marks on it from our boots getting in and out, but um, it's very clean and tidy. Pedal webbers are all good as well. Your uh, driver's seat squabs are in good condition. You do have armrest on this side, as you can see, that comes down and it's adjustable. Uh, height adjustment on your steering wheel here and your backrest adjustment is here as well. Uh, automatic lights, front fog lights, rear fog lights, dashboard illumination. Push that one in to pull it out and that's your headlamp levelers as well. Um, obviously cup holders galore. One there, one down there. We have 12 volt and USB power on the dash there as well. And as in with these latest transits, so you've got this lovely touchscreen system here. Now this van on startup is showing a few warning lights. So it's just telling us at the moment that the fuel is low. Uh, it is due a service, the washer fluid level is low uh, and it needs some brake pad sorting out on it and an oil change. So that will all be sorted on it as part of the sale. Obviously we're not about to send the van out with those faults on it, are we? Um, nice leather, it's got your thick leather multifunction steering wheel on these customs. This one is in nice condition, uh, gives it quite a nice upmarket feel to it. You've got cruise control and speed limiter here, uh, and we've got uh, voice activation uh, onto your telephone, decline your telephone call here, and then the menu button for your dashboard, which you can run through all the various things on your dash, obviously, once you've just scanned through and acknowledged the fact it's got a few things that need sorting out on it. Um, dashboard, lovely piano sort of finish, piano black finish on the dashboard. And then you've got this lovely sort of touch screen system on here as well, which does give you access to Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So you can link up your telephone using this USB port here, and then that will uh, mirror the sat nav off your telephone onto this system. So you don't need any factory sat nav, it'll just be nice up to date nav unit as well. Uh, there's obviously some kind of Wi-Fi thing going on, but I, I don't know, I've never messed around with it. You've got Wi-Fi on your phone, haven't you? Um, air conditioning system, you've got heated seats, heated quick clear front windscreen. Uh, adjust your blower fans by turning here. Adjust your heat settings on here. 12 volt power here, USB power here. Six speed manual gearbox, reverse gear is all the way to the left and forward. And then that then does engage your um, park pilot system on your dashboard. We have another cup holder here. That's quite cool and funky. Uh, just look at the, the level of detail that we go to with the cleaning. Look how clean that is in between your seats. These are... Sorry, so uh, something happened with the telephone and turned the video off. So yeah, it's just the attention to detail, okay? Is um, I think uh, what we uh, are good for um, and the level of prep that we do as well. So there we go, it's, uh, it gives you a good idea of the vehicle. It is, as I say, a one owner from new, a 40,000 mile vehicle uh, with warranted miles off the lease company. Uh, we will obviously fully service it before it goes out the door. We have 70 odd photos on our website, which is vanstoday.com. We are Vans Today, based in Worcester in the center of the country, offering nationwide delivery, part exchange and finance. Feel free to give us a call on 01905 672 080 or email us sales at vanstoday.com. Well done for making it through this far through the video, but if you're looking at interested in buying it, obviously it's going to be very beneficial for you. Thanks for looking. Speak to you later. Cheers, bye.